Oh, yeah, baby. It's right here for the media. You see the receipts? Hey, I the door, see huh? Yeah, I got, I got everything in, that, in the folder already set up for you. And a couple more pieces that might tie into what you got. Okay. Hey, baby, you come here, Hakeem? Oh, shit. Yeah, I got all the receipts. I got all the receipts in that uh, folder. Okay. We just going to go over the folder. And if we if there's enough time, we'll do a QA after. Okay, all right. Hey, we live right now. Hey, hey, baby, you get Hakeem. Hold on, just a second. Let me just get that thumbnail put up there for him. All right, just give me just a couple minutes. Hey, Rob, we in the building with the brother, with the, the famous, the infamous brother, Rod Hayes. It's about to go down. I know y'all see that thumbnail, baby. You already know what time it is. We almost set up. I got to switch to my laptop. And I'm going to post those, uh, those Bobby Hand videos and the links, too, on, the, on this video because it ties in, too. Uh, what was going down here? Mm -hmm. So, we've been telling the people that. Oh. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, we've been telling the people about Enlil, and we've been telling them about his children, and we also told them about the sin rights. In order to be a sinner, you have to be following the doctrine of ninner seed. <clears throat> we call it Babylonian blood magic, Babylonian money magic, Babylonian sex magic on a military style country. So now what we about to do is we're going to go over exact information and show you who Enlil is in different places and show you what's his relation to Ninersin. Right. So this is what we're going at. Uh, over with now we finna pull up these uh these screenshots to show y'all hey can you see the screen yeah can uh go to the top all right, that's the top right there. Hold on, let me blow it up from up way. Then I'll scroll down. Okay, it say the two chief seats of his worship were Ur in the south of Mesopotamia in Haran in the north, though he was also worshiping numerous other cities, especially in the proximity of Ur. <clears throat> and in the Deala area, in Ur, he was connected to royal power, and many Mesopotamian kings visited his temple in this city. Right now, we're talking about Enlil. Okay, let's go to the next paragraph. According to Meso Mesopotamian mythology, his parents, oh, okay, this is the guy's sin, were Enlil and Ninlil. His wife was Ningal, worshiped with him in his major cult centers. Okay, so these are uh, out of order now, Elder. Okay, I, I, okay, I, so you, yeah, you okay, you want, you want to, uh, you want me to see which ones you want to go through? Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. Go back, go so, back. Right. Which one is this? All right, that's the one you just read. This is another one about the city of Or. All right, keep going back. We ain't ready for that yet. All right. The city, Acadians. Keep going. All right. The Book of Isaiah. Keep going. Keep going. 
Let's start by talking about these book covers, the Malachi Yorks. That's where I wanted to start at. Okay, all right. Okay, so now you see the title of this one. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Black Devils, right? Yeah. Look at the faces on the pictures. Yeah. Okay. Now, you see the what you call the widow's peak? Yeah. Oh, I okay, got now, let's go, go, ahead, go ahead. Let's go to another picture. Oh, yeah, we got them. Another one of the book pictures? Yeah. Oh, just something to go along with that Willow's Peak while you add, just to add on. Okay, you see that right there, right? Yeah. Uh, you see this right here? Let me show you. Uh, these people, these Vulcans. Hold on, this one of them right here. Look at them. See that right there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he didn't want them black Jews. <laughs> black Jews you talking about? Hey, the Tracy's only reason why I'm laughing, right, mm -hmm. is because they men are notoriously homosexual. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hold on, I got one more for you. Then we gonna I'm gonna keep let you go. Uh, hold up. Well, James Baldwin told they secrets. Yeah. Yeah. The question is why they ain't murdering. Why right. did they? But, but he one of them same niggas that be with them black Jew niggas, man. I'm telling you, man. So who the hell does this keep calling me? Go ahead. That one right there with the eye on it. Oh, uh, with the eye on it right there. Okay, all right, boom. You can just slide, you're gonna be going uh, in the direction the pictures is, is after this. All right, here we go. Let me blow it up for you. See what he say? Yeah. What's that you... take? 44, ain't it? Yeah. That's Angel Bay, Chief Malik Angel Bay <clears throat> on the flip. Okay, so you see he letting them know they don't notice now. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see another one. The other way. That's a good one right there. Blow that motherfucker up. Are there black devils? In this scroll right here, he not only tell you that they black devils, but he give you the um, modus operandi of how they operate in our pe uh, among our people. Mm -hmm. Right? So this is why this one is important because he, he give you the psychological moves. This is how they operate when they around the righteous, they move like this. This book tells you that, mm -hmm. right? So this is why all of these ties back in to um, the war that started on Nibiru and fell to the earth. We're going to get to that as we go into this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> all right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so this is the Tower of Babel. Blow that motherfucker up so they can see it. This is where they decided, see, this is not only a tower, a ziggurat is what it's called. Okay. <clears throat> the top of it housed the launch pad for um, what they call launch jumps. It was a stargate uh -huh. on the top of it. Uh-huh. Right? But these were university halls. This is where they decided to split the languages up. Uh-huh. And this is where they wrote the scripts for the Chinese, Korean, Japanese, and Hindu languages. Mm -hmm. All right. This was from the land of Nud or Nudamud, which is the land of Enki in the Far East, which was uh, held for Anu. Uh -huh. Right. So now we're talking about the Aryan bloodlines of Anu now. Okay. So they all, from here, they migrated east. This mm -hmm. is in the so-called Middle East. This is in the city where we about to go to, the city of Earth. That's why we had to see this picture first. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, I told you, the, the big lie was they told us that we was born in sin and we was all sinners <laughs> and that if we didn't repent, that we would burn in hell, right? Mm -hmm. Ain't that what they told us? Yeah. All right. First of all, what do repent mean? 
Read me uh, want me, want my perspective or what they say it is. You can just say what they say. Your perspective don't matter. Repeat. All right, my uh, uh, they perspective is to uh, you know, say you sorry and you feel bad for what you did, type of thing. But my okay, perspective. Now. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Break it down into syllables. Re means to do again. Pin. Um, pin. To write. Uh, it, it says like uh, they, they post, it's, it's a punt to, to put a certain type of event, to pin the certain type of event, maybe where they write, where it's writing it down or pinning it on the wall or writing it on the wall or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's a, to re, rewrite shit over and over again. To rewrite so the history. primary words of repent is re, mm -hmm. pin, and tent. Mm -hmm. The tent represents the original tent Sakidar. Mm -hmm. And this is where they overtook the Sharif. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The Sharif became the um, ancient Arabic nobles of the mystic shrine. Okay. Right? So they set up up shop here okay all right now let's go to the to the written words we was about to go to um over top of them okay go to the next one yeah but what that say confusion of tongues the tower of Babel, and the incantation of nutter mud is nutter mud is inky Okay, yeah, okay, all right. Okay, but it wasn't Inky that done it. Now, remember, when Enlil took over um, the rulership of Earth, he became Enlil and Inky yeah. by title. Yeah. Ruler of the skies, ruler of the Earth. Yeah. So he want to make everybody think that the ones that's innocent is doing the dirt when he doing the dirt in their name. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, now. Um, exit out for a minute. Back it up to the where I can see the uh, full layout. Let's see which way we're going from here. All right. Oh, let me do this right here once we can see it. Oh, it's up. Hold on. You see where it started with Gehenna? Well, uh, hold on. Let me blow them up for next you. To the, next to the Black Devil right there. All right. Now, what we say right here? Right there. Right here. Yeah. I got you. This is hell. In the in the um Latin, this is hell. See where it say hell right there? Yeah. All right. This is where the word hell comes from. Okay. All right. Now go to the next one to the to the left. The other way. The other way. Okay, let's read this. The book of Isaiah, that's the part I want to read. The book of Isaiah does not mention Gehenna by name, but calls it the burning place. In verse 30 and 33, in which the Assyrian army is to be destroyed, may be read Topheth and the final verse of Isaiah, which concerns of those that have rebelled against God. Right, so the burning place is Gehenna, and Gehenna is the place where they gonna throw those who rebelled against God. You see it? Yeah. Okay. Go to the next one. The next slide. Oh, the next slide. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this is telling you who your sinners are worshiping. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the top. The city's patron deity, this is talking about Gehenna. Okay. Um, Ur the Chaldees. The city's patron deity was Nana. Nanner Sin is his name. Nanner Sin. The Sumerian and Akkadian moon god, the name of the city is in origin derived from the god's name, Unug. Right? Literally, the abode, Unug, of Nana. 
Mm -hmm. The site is marked by the partially restored ruins of the ziggurat of Ur. You see it's right there telling you exactly where it's at. Which contains the shrine of Nana excavated in the 1930s. Now look at the year. Okay. Okay, scroll down. <clears throat> About right there. Yeah. Okay, the temple was built in the 21st century BC during the reign of Ur Namu and was reconstructed in the 6th century BC by Nabonidus, the last king of Babylon. The ruin covers an area of 1,200 meters or uh, northwest to southeast by 800 meters northeast to southwest, a rise up to about 20 meters. All right, so now the pictures of uh, the mountain now, what's the rem remains of the ziggurat is Mount Sion. Okay. Right. So uh, let's scroll through a couple more of these, going back to that, that direction you're going. You just read, you read this one right here already, right? Well, we just, we skipped over this one earlier. The next one we read over already. So uh -huh. Ur... Right. See, now you see the cuneiform script telling you that it's the uh, Anunnaki involvement right there. Yeah. Right. So yeah. Ur is Sumerian to tell you right there. And then to show you the Sumerian writing of it, Urim, Akkadian, Uru, and then Arabic, Rom Romanized Ur, Hebrew, Romanized Ur, right? was mm -hmm. an important Sumerian city-state in ancient Mesopotamia located at the site of modern Tel el Mukhaya in South Iraq's Dikhar uh, government. Uh, although Ur was once a coastal city near the mouth of the Euphrates on the Persian Gulf, the coastline has shifted and the city is now well inlaid on the south bank of the Euphrates, 16 kilometers from Nazariah in the modern day Iraq. Now you remember they was going to war all through here. Yeah. Right. They was trying to get ancient artifacts that they thought, well, we must show you what they was trying to get. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, Desert Storm. You know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is uh telling you about the rest of the city of Earth. We already get read this one. Okay, all right. Okay, now we got to go to the Enlil files, which is closer to the other end. Scroll down some. These Enlil files here. Okay. Okay, first start with the mountain. The mountain? Yep, you just passed it. So right they here. need to see what the mountain looked like today that was it's the mountain. Rock. Not that one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is Go up there? some more. Right here. That mountain right there. Now you see how they spell it? <clears throat> Mount mm -hmm. Sinai, right? This is yep. the Mount Zion. When they be talking about Holy Mount Zion, this is what they talking about. They say this is where Moses got the law. Yep, that's right. Right now, look at that word. Yeah, I see it. Seeing. AI is yeah, what? See artificial it. intelligence, right? Yeah. What did Bobby Emmy call them? Spirit artificial? Yeah. Artificial intelligence, AI, rise of the machines. Yeah. Right? This is who's doing it. And then they're seeing. Okay. Right now, we need to look at the Enlil file. Scroll to the left again. To the left, to the left. Okay, in the second half of the first temple period, this uh, the city expanded westward and defensive walls. This is the, uh, um, I think this is the city of Earth still. Okay. Scroll down some more. Let's see what they're talking about. Uh, Western Hills separated. Yeah, so this telling you the ground layout <clears throat> 
for the area. See where it say Mount Zion? Yeah. That's the same word. Sinai is just transliterated. Yeah. They talk about the same place. Right? Go to the next picture. All right. Let me show that skip there because it like skip. Okay, there you go, right there. Hold up. All right. Now this is the this... let's read that. Okay. Show them the picture first, and then we're gonna read it. Okay, all right. Okay, so now this is right over there in the Middle East. We're talking about in the area where you see where it say Mount Zion right there, southwestern yeah. hill. Yeah. That other one was describing this. Okay. Okay. Now let's scroll down and read what it say about it. The last shift of the name Mount Zion was to the western hill, which is more dominant than the eastern hill, and seemed to first century Christian area Jeru Jerusalemites the worthier location for by then lost palace of King David. Mm -hmm. The western hills is what today is called Mount Zion. Mm -hmm. Right <clears throat> now, all of this is part of what we call the Sinai Peninsula. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. it's still right there, Mount Sinai. Let's go to the next one. So, this is telling you the Upper Eastern Hill. This is giving you the description of um, the first temple was erected atop the eastern hill. The name Mount Zion migrated there too. So you see they moving the city around mm -hmm. from mountaintop to mountaintop. Mm -hmm. Right? After the conquest of the Jebusite city, remember what Pop said Jebusites was? Yeah. The uh, size of Canaan, right? Yeah. Jews, mm. the fake Jews. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, it's built up area expanding northwest toward the uppermost part of the same eastern hill. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Smoking a little bit of too much stuff. <laughs> the highest part became the site of Solomon's temple. The identification of the pre-Israelite Jebusite. That, is that another tribe? Yeah. Well, let's say that again. Yeah. Jebusite. Pre-Israelite Jebusite. No, that's the same tribe. Yep, that's the tribe of Canaan, right? Yeah. Yeah. And Israelite towns on the eastern hill is based on the existence of only one perennial water source in the area, the Gihon Spring. Remember, Pops tell you about the Gihon and Pishon? Yeah. Yeah, yep. this is what they're talking about, right? Yep. And archaeological excavations reveal sections of the Bronze Age, Iron Age, city walls, and water systems. The Mount Zion mentioned in the latter parts of the book of Isaiah, in the book of Psalms, and the first book of something. Okay, go to the next one. <clears throat> um, this is another hill where they moved it to. At first, Mount Zion was a name given to the Jebusite fortified city, the lower part of the ancient Jerusalem eastern hill. So now they went to the north hill, east hill, and the west hill also known as the city of David. According to the book of Samuel, Mount Zion was the site of the Jebusite fortress called the Stronghold of Zion. Don't that sound familiar? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, the Stronghold. <clears throat> right, now let's go to the next one. We're trying to get to, <clears throat> you're about to get to the Enlil uh, description here. This is just to show Mount Sinai from different photograph angles, and you can see how they got it all labeled under them. See that one right there? The man sitting on the top? Yeah, right here. Yeah, I think I sent you that separate because that's supposed to be Enlil sitting on Mount Zion. So this is where Moses went up there and got high and met God. <laughs> but, uh, he probably met Enlil, which is, we're going to get to that in a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm just throwing stuff out there. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right, sorry, okay, I'll be showing that. Okay, let me go to the next one. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. This is that fake ass shit they said that right here. Go ahead. I know that I know what this is. All right, now look at what we're looking at. David's tomb on Mount Zion. Now remember, Ray Haggins offered them to pay all of their bills for the rest of their life if they could find one living person tomb from the Bible. Yeah. 
right? So what is that telling us when they don't collect the money and they show you this shit? But anyway, let's scroll down and read what it say. Here's <coughs> that fake shit right here. <laughs> it said the name Mount Zion referred successfully to three locations at Jerusalem Mike's preserve the time honored name, but shifted the location they venerated as the focal point of biblical Jerusalem to the site considered most appropriate in their own time. So you see that they move in a so-called holy city to where they feel it's appropriate, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see, Mount Zion. In Arabic, Hart Zion, Arabic, Jabal Soyon, is a hill in Jerusalem located just outside the walls of the old city. The term Mount Zion has been used in the Hebrew Bible for the first city of David mm -hmm. and later for the Temple Mount, but it means its meaning has shifted and it is now used as a name of, scroll down some more. Gotcha. Ancient Jerusalem's Western Hill. In a wider sense, the term Zion is also used for the entire land of Israel. So <clears throat> this is showing you that they can change the meaning whenever they feel like it. Mm -hmm. in the location. Right. Mm -hmm. So now remember, for all that don't have, there's not a, don't have any historical um, understanding of the United Nations. The United Nations was formed in 1945 between um, at that time, it was England, America and France. Mm -hmm. They first act as a unified force was to establish the state of Israel, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You can still turn while I'm talking. <clears throat> and while they established in the state of Israel based on something called the Balfour Declaration from World War I, which is an order from the Bavarian Illuminati that the black nobility wants them to establish a city called a state of Israel, Right. So while they are looking for a place to establish Israel, Middle East, nowhere over there was the original first site. Mm -hmm. They originally was going to move to South America, then Central America, and they felt that it was inhospitable to try anywhere in the mainland of America. So they went to the Middle East next because of the oil reserves and the mineral wealth that the Arabs had just came into in the 1930s. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So before the 1930s, the Arabs is dirt poor. All of a sudden they come into this massive wealth. So the black nobility has to have a hand in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They got to have a black hand in all the dirt. Go ahead. All right. So now when it comes down to a trickle down effect, when we can see from what they did in ancient times, we can see it playing out in modern times. Right now, the Gehenna is called Gehenna because it was the place of fire where they executed criminals. Okay. Go ahead, El, click to the next one. I got you. Now, this is a, this is the study of who Enlil is at this point. No, this is this is seeing right here. Right, but it's gonna we're gonna go from here. We're gonna end up talking about Enlil. Okay, so this is showing you. Impressions of the cylinder seal of NC of Ixusin, which is Ninersi's other name, right? Mm -hmm. The senior figure is probably King Ur Namu, right? Which is actually mm -hmm. uh, Fire King Namu, which is actually uh, Nanu, which is Ninersi. Mm -hmm. But they change in the, the spelling and the, the pronunciation of the name to confusion. Mm -hmm. Right, watch what they say he did. Restoring the governorship, uh, scroll down, of Hashemer. I got you. Who is led before him by Lama, protective goddess. Now the Lamas are monks in the Far East. Uh -huh. All right, now look what it says. Seeing Nana himself is indicated in the form of a crescent. Uh -huh. Right? Now look at it say other names. Remember, Baba says Zuin had what? Yeah. What did he have? I don't remember. Zuin stole what? 
The tablets. The scrolls of destiny, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tablets. Yeah, go ahead. Right. Right, right here is where they where they giving it up at. Okay, so his symbol is the crescent moon and the bull's horns. Yeah. Right? That means that his crescent moon is is flipped. It's not on his side. Mm -hmm. Left or right. Mm -hmm. Right? So now we talking about a crescent on the top or the bottom. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the same God who became Allah to replace Allah. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's go to the next page. Now look and say, Nana Sin or Zuin, right? Enzu, pronounced Suin in the Aramaic. See, all this is what Baba said. It's just right here um, in the public domain for anybody to go look it up. And say, was the God of the moon in the Mesopotamian religions of Sumer, Akkad, Assyria, Babylonia, and Aram. He was also associated, associated with cattle, perhaps due to the perceived similarity between bull horns and the crescent moon. He was always described as a major deity, though only a few sources, mostly these from the reign of Nabonidus, considered him to be the head of the Mesopotamian pantheon. Right? Now, the reason he can't be the head is because of his father, which we about to start getting into now, right? Now, in, uh, so look what this say. Inugi mean the sheriff. Remember, we came up with the ten yeah, right, okay. So this was the one tasked with taking over the sheriff's departments and replacing them with police, right? But I see what it say, the brother of, that's all it's talking about seeing. This is the second page. Then they tell you his daughter's name, right? And who they married to. Right? Go to the next page. The next page might be the one before this. Okay, now. Now we're getting somewhere. See where it say in little sons, the nurse yeah. Ninurta born on Nibiru, right? His mother was Ninistag, Enlil's royal heir due to the double C rule. What's the double C rule? Do you know? No. The double C rule is when you get the matriarchal and the patriarchal rulership rights. You get the inheritance of the mother to support the throne and the rulership from the father to enforce the uh, protection. Mm -hmm. All right. Then he had, uh, see where it say Nanner Sin? Right there. Born on earth to Mother Ninlil. Right. So now it's telling you their first son. Right. Iskur, mm -hmm. a dad. Remember, bought a dad. Born yeah. on earth. Yeah. Same mother. The second son. Right. Now look, the river warden, the sheriff. It's telling you who's 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 usurping what. Yeah, you're right, right here. The brother, of, right? Because yeah. what is a warden? A warden, like a, a warden of the state, like warden of the state, or warden over jail, overseer over jail. The warden is the one who handles the ward of the, the state. governor. The governor, pretty much, is a warden. The warden is the one that oversee the wards of the state. Okay. The sheriff is the one bringing them in. Yep. Damn, this shit is bad, bro. You man, I, I couldn't find this shit for no way. I couldn't find like this uh, the, the bloodline like this. You found okay? This go to the here. next. It's some good shit, man. Go ahead. All right. Okay, Eker in the temple residence to Nipper. Now you can look them cities up separate, and you can get more detailed into this shit, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now it's a uh Igla Gassana in Lil's temple residence in Dur in Lil. That mm -hmm. means um the city of Enlil. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right? 
Mm-hmm. And um, then you got Eadad, which is the temple of Enlil. Scroll down. Let's see what else you got. We got him. We got him. Right. Edukuk, House of the Sheer Heap. Right. That's the dumps. The dumps is the, is the sheer heaps. Okay. Right. And you got Tumal House, Temple to Ninlil in Nippur. Right. Then you got Enlil's sons, Ninurta, born on Nibiru. Then I go back to the first one. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go to the next picture. Enlil married Ninlil. Uh, Sud was her other name. And Sud is Sut. Mm-hmm. Black. Right. Okay. So saving him from rape charges. Now, why would he be worried about a rape charge? Right. He supposed to be God Almighty. Yeah. But this sister right here, Ninlil, that he married, that he raped, the only way that he can get the only way he can be free from the rape charges is she gotta marry. Mm-hmm. Ah oh, shit. Right. Somebody like that over overseas right now. So now you know why they use the charging of people with rape in order to subdue them. Mm-hmm. Even if they didn't do the rape. By the time mm-hmm. you get done fighting, that's how you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was not tolerable in the matriarchal society. Mm-hmm. That was punishable by death. Mm-hmm. But in the patriarchal society, if you can rape her into submission, give her Stockholm syndrome, then you're good enough to go on ahead and keep her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Now remember, the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they was fair, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Now look at the name of it. Look what they call it. Known by his light sky blue eyes. Now what wow. does the Quran say? Ooh. The guilty who? Shit, the guilty eyes. blue eyes, oh, right? Shit, nigga. Bang, boom. Bye, y'all. <laughs> yeah, Ain't that what it's saying in the Quran, though? Am yeah, I yeah, you right, yeah, 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 man. Look, go ahead. The, the guilty blue eye was Damn. in him all this time. He was the one putting his children oh, up to shit. do his bidding. Right? So let's go to the next one. Let's hey, somebody in the crowd. Hey, look, man. Look, if you, hey, you want to show your brother raw hands some love, we're dropping the cash app in the link. Man, somebody in the, in the chat say, young, say, uh, Rod, get these niggas, man. Get these niggas, man. What the hell's going on? Get these niggas. Man, this shit is crazy. All right, go ahead, bro. Okay, so Anu's second born son, Enlil, was born on Anu of Anu's sister wife, Antu, right? Mm-hmm. Giving him the crown over older brother, Enki, son of Anu and a concubine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Now look, commander of Earth, Seventh planet entering the uh, entering from outer space, coming in from Pluto first. Mm-hmm. Right? They call this the seventh planet coming from outside, but we call it the what? The fourth rock, third rock from the sun. Yep, yep. Third rock from the sun. Blue rock. Planet right. blue rock. Yep. Now look what it say. Only God to appoint kingship on Earth. There was no kings because we was ruled by matriarchs. That's right. Women. Right. So that's why there was no kingship on earth, because there was no patriarchal right to rulership until this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, let's go to the next one. Okay. This shit. Hold on. Damn. I hope I ain't skip one. Okay. Second. Did I skip one? Did you read this one already? Okay. You read that one. Let's go to the next one. Oh, yeah. This is good. Hit that like button if you're in the Okay, big- now this is his alter egos. Now we finna show you why they at Rashad Jamal here. Because he keep bringing up Zeus. Enlil. And Sumer. Lord of the Command. What the fuck that mean? Ashtar Command? No, it's the Nibiru <laughs> fleets. He not in charge of Ashtar. They came no, 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 redemption. I just shoved it out there because I see command. <laughs> but look, the great mountain Sumer, right? Mm-hmm. All right, that's his. That's his dwelling place. 
Mm-hmm. This is where the John Wick come in. So, so is it that that Sumer is it the same as Sinai? That's the in Samaria. Yeah, that's the ancient name of Samaria, Sumer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, called right. him right. look, Lord of Air, right? Yeah. New Namnar is his Assyrian name. Ilial Lagash, Ilil Babylonian. Zeus in Greek. This is why they had Rashad Jamal, because he keep talking about he had war with Zeus, and Zeus has sent his people to get him. You see it right there, Zeus, Greek. Yeah, right. Jupiter, Roman. Dias, Hindu, Hindu, the Vedas. Odin, Norseman, right? Heir mm-hmm. to Anu's throne on Nibiru. He ain't heir to shit on Earth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? So he was trying to assert his jurisdiction as the uh, heir to Nibiru on Earth, and it had nothing to do with him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Somebody had called in. I had to um, okay. I was make sure that. Okay, it's, we're on this one right here, I think. Right See what it say? In Lil, Anu's second son and heir, born of the double C law of succession. You see what it say, right? Mm-hmm. Now, the symbol for the double C law of succession is the double head bird. Okay. 32 degrees Scottish right. Remember? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Like, I'm with you. I'm right, I'm right there with you. Okay, so that's the symbol for double C law of succession. Remember I told you they came in 32 the Scottish right on the hostile bump. Yeah. Left bump. Right? That's the hostile left bump. Told us to look yeah. Up. We got the ass. Ain't going to be no more bumping after this. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go to the next. See what the next one got. All we right. might be done with the Enlil slides for now. Well, hold on. Let's see what that is. Uh, it, it, it's, it's doing a little fun. Okay, all right, there you go right there. Okay, so this is who Inky, Inky, this is Inky. Inky is known as Nudamud. Now, the reason why I got Inky here because where did Cain get his wife from? The land of Nod. The land of Nod is the land of Nudamud. Which is over here, America. I think it's America. No, no. Oh, wait, wait, Baba said it was... Uh... Babylon, I think. Africa, South Africa. Yeah, South Africa in um what we call Rafali was where his where his dwelling place was. They call mm-hmm. it the uh, the Absu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So it say he was the Sumerian god of wisdom, fresh water. Now remember, Oshun is is, is uh, who we have over the fresh water. Okay. So these is the patriarchal agendas. Now, <clears throat> remember, Enki is the Lord of the command. So this is what he's given, I mean, Enlil. So this is his orders to end the Enki. This is what he's supposed to usurp. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So he's the God of wisdom, right? That's the knowledge. Uh-huh. Fresh water, right? Hydration, uh-huh. water me- represents spirit. Intelligence, thinking, trickery and mischief. You're moving too fast, Elder. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I, thought, I thought you was that. My bad. Damn. <laughs> Go ahead. Trickery and mischief. Crafts. You see the word crafts in red, right? Yeah. Crafts. Yeah. Go ahead. Magic. Remember, see, magic, exorcism, healing, creation, virility, fertility, and art. Iconography depicts him as a bearded man wearing a horn cap and long robes as he ascends the mountain of the sunrise. Now, what's the mountain of the sunrise? The Sinai Mount. Now we're gonna get to that. Mount Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro. It's a, in this image, flowing streams of water run from his shoulders, emphasizing his association with life-giving water. While trees representing the male and female principle stand in the background. The streams are interpreted as the Tigris and Euphrates River, which, according to one myth, were formed from Enki's semen. His name means Lord of the Earth, and his symbol are the fish and the goat, both representations of fertility. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, now it's a couple things I'm gonna point out because they just told you uh, who Inky was. See where it said his uh in this image, flowing streams of water run from his shoulders. Mm-hmm. This is the source of the Nile they're talking about, mm-hmm. which is uh uh you just said the mountain, didn't you? Yes, uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. Right. Remember, remember when Baba said that the elders over there on the mountain in Kenya did the ceremony for him? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right. Because this is who he was up against. Uh, not Inky in Lil. And Inky's priest was the ones that was sending him the assistance. Wow. Go ahead. Now Make you see where it says like flowing streams of water. Run, emphasis is associated with life-giving water. The term life-giving water was only comedic and it was only used in reference to one body of water. Okay. What body of water do we know that to be? The Nile. The Nile. And the two streams of the Nile is the white, the white and the blue, right? Yeah. Okay, so now they taking us back to the Tigris and Euphrates because they trying to undermine everything we trying to do. These are the priest wars that we be talking about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it was the Egyptian priest that was fighting against the Babylonian priest. And it's all documented in the uh, record in hieroglyphics. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. Dr. Mm-hmm. Ben talked about the priest wars. Um. Uh, what's my man from Sierra Leone? Uh, Shake Anthony Diop talk about the priest wars. Okay. Um, they mentioned the priest wars in the writings of uh, Albert Church Ward. And the uh, what's the other one name? Um, ancient Egyptologist that came up in eighteen hundreds with him. Um, Albert Church Ward and um. It'll come to me. But they was the two foremost Egyptologists and they talked about the priest wars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, <clears throat> in the priest wars, it was predicated up on something. You remember Bobby Hemmett saying in the video we was showing the other day, he was saying that uh, we was losing memory. Uh-huh. Yeah, he said they knew, they knew we was using memory, so they had to do something. So they left it in the... In the, in the um, in the iconography of the land, in mm-hmm. the statuary and in the art, right? Mm-hmm. Now, blow that back up and see who in charge of crafts again. Inky. Right. So now, somebody coming to you and uh, one of your brothers got your kids hostage. You got to tell your kids how to free themselves, but you can't tell them openly. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. But you got control of all of this shit right here. Yeah. What is you going what messages are you gonna use to send your child to let him know how to get free? Uh, crafts, mischief, trickery, <laughs> all no. kind of shit. Whatever we can use. We need whatever right. we can use right now. Now yeah. remember this. When they say that a god was a trickster or the god of trickery, uh-huh. that means that you couldn't trick them. Yeah, right. They yeah. can't be deceived. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Right. So they have to be so good at all of the trickery that the um mischief maker can't deceive them. Okay. So you put it in so he gets a god of wisdom. So you got to give him the wisdom. Right? And we know uh-huh. fresh water is those tune. That's love and romance. Mm-hmm. Then we got intelligence, intellect, linear logic, father line thinking. And now we going into trickery and mischief. We learn that from card games and sleight of hand. Then we go into crafts, which is the ceramics and the pottery and the designs. And then we go into the magic, which is the incantations and the spells and different things, right? Mm-hmm. Then mm-hmm. we go into the exorcism, which is casting out the uh, the devil by making his ass be seen. Mm-hmm. Because remember, the devil don't want to be seen. Yeah, that's right. Right. So the priesthood of Enlil are Amun. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Excuse me, unknown priests. Right? So you see that statue right there on the bottom right? Oh, let me go back. Right there by your cursor. Right here? Mm, you was just already at it. Damn, it just looked up. It was already on the screen. There you go. Right here? Go back up. All right, go back up. The troglodyte. Right there. Oh, yeah, right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These beans. That's, that's what that's what I was gonna tell them. Uh I was gonna piece it together for them on how they came how these uh beans came with these uh willow peaks. They come from these yeah. beans here. Go ahead. The Maldekians there. Yeah. The Maldekians, these beans, it was another group of beans that they was over. The little short beans, they were called the primitives. And these they were disagreeable, and they they were the ones that was kidnapping the kids and eating them and raping them, and then uh, but they mixed the with the trolls. Yeah, they mixed with the beans. The Hindus, these beans mixed with the Hindus and created these beans. You see, you see, uh, Halo got that Willow uh, Pete. See right there. So you saw yep. so you, you see you see like the horn. They, they where they get the horn thing from, the, and then they got mm-hmm. these beans in. Uh, they got these beans in that move in that Star Trek thing too. They tell you they came from, from a planet called Vulcan. Right here, they, they put them in, they got, they got the like the elf shaped ears, but they got the mm-hmm. uh, those peak type head shape. These he a Vulcan. Okay, stop. When they say Vulcan, you know what they're talking about, right? Go they're ahead. not talking yeah. about a planet. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So <clears throat> L. Ryan Hubbard wrote a series of science fiction books. And the science fiction books he wrote was actually the Anunnaki Chronicles. Okay. And he said that a group of them came down and they was thrust into the volcano. Go ahead. And these are the beings that we call, uh, they actually volcanoites. Okay. They're not from the, they're not from a planet. They from, they from a planet, but they landed on earth in the volcanoes. That's how they got that name. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. That's fire. I like that perspective. That's fire. And two, it's all tied. It's all tied to unraveling. Where's the devil today? Yeah, black devils. See these beings are here are the same species that time this came from. See, Baba say in the holy tablets that <coughs> these beings came from a planet called Titan, which is the moon to Saturn, and uh, they they were they was on Pluto too. But the, but the the original species was on Titan, and that's the that's where uh, Tainishnam come from. And but uh, but they left they they was on Titan after they planet Mel Dick got knocked out of orbit by Nubiru. Nubiru knocked their their planet Mel Dick out of orbit, and then they that's when they migrated to Earth. Some of them came to Earth uh, down in uh, the Bermuda Triangle. That's what Baba said in the uh, Holy Tablets. They landed in the Bermuda Triangle. They crashed down. And they were disagreeables called the primitives. And those were the beings they were trying to come, the anarchists were trying to convert into being good beings. And so they were trying to breed them out with the, uh, you know, with the humans on the earth, they were trying to breed them out. Mm-hmm. But they still came out disagreeable. And that, that produced these niggas with the Willow's Peaks, like James Ball and them, and these, these goddamn niggas in them pictures you fingered. Go ahead. <laughs> My bad for going so long. Go ahead, though. No, you're good. You're on point. You just right here? You keep it right with the step. So what's his name in the show? This dude right here. Uh, damn, I forgot his dude's name. I, I knew his name. Uh, somebody drop it in the his chat, name, man. Huh? His name is Edward Wolfgang Munster. Yeah, Wolfgang. This right, go ahead. You want to go ahead on this nigga? <clears throat> Get that full so speed, though. Right. Uh, now I'm finna say you, uh, you finna go to Google. Pull up uh, um, Wolfgang Amadeus. Okay, I got you. Just gonna show you something. And that's what they talk about the Lodarkins and the 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 the, the, uh, the, the uh, these wolf beings that live on the ground that's fighting on, on the underworld. That's where these big species of these beings come from. They mix with these people, these uh, these Shadaka, these uh, black devils. Who mix with these uh, particular species? What you want me to type in there? Ty, uh, type in Wolfgang Amadeus. Go to images. Do you know who he is? Okay, no, go ahead. Get his ass. 
he was one of the greatest composers. Okay. Right? And he didn't look like this. Scroll down and see if you can find a real picture. Nah, he, I bet he was a mulatto. Yep. Yeah. His history say he was a uh he was he was half more. Look at that. Look at how they're doing it. They're doing it right there with a then it is half dude. Okay. This might be a good picture right here. Okay, now I'm finna show you something. Put in behind that say was a more. <laughs> oh shit. Now let me say this picture. There you go. That's the real picture of him. Oh uh, now. What you got on him? Oh, let me say that. Was a Look, remember who was over the uh the uh arts and crafts? Uh-huh. Music fall under that. Good shit. Good shit, Rob. You got some good shit right here, bro. So why is it in the monsters? Right. Why is they calling this guy Fred uh Herm uh Eddie Wolfgang Monster? Yeah, Eddie Wolfgang Monster. What's right. a monster? Uh, <laughs> uh um uh one it's star the last name one star mono it's like mono and star Look, put together. Go it's ahead. it's an actual last name. Go ahead. If you pull it up, they got a family crest. If you pull up Family Crest, M U E N S T R, Monster Family Crest. This became known as uh, Munson in English. <laughs> hey, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cracking, bro. Also, hey, before I go to that picture, another thing to add on to these people, the bow-legged trait come from these people, right? The bow hey, and check this out. My dad, my granddad was bow-legged, and his and he, his middle name is Samael. And then my brother, they that's so what that bow-legged shit is in. It's, I'm telling you, man, this shit is deep. This shit is deep, man. We can we came to these people too. Those come from look, that come from totem energy. What you mean? I have to explain that another time. That's a whole separate show. Totem energy manifests in physical traits. Okay, all right. I know a lot of them bow legged though with them. Uh, I, I noticed a lot of them bow legged with them willows peaks. Mm hmm. No, spell it with a U. That's the wrong one. Oh, okay, all right, hold up. Oh, yeah, it's going to get greasy in here. Y'all hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you want to show us some love. Hit the cash app. Don't do the uh, don't do the super chat, brothers. We're dropping it in the links. All right, there we go, right there. Got them. Now you see with them them in the middle. Those are wings. Yeah. Right, red, white, white over red on the blue background. Yeah. Now Enlil had the double right to rule, right? Yeah. Them are the two wings that go. If you look at the indentation, you will see the double-headed eagle's face in there. Yeah. Right in the wings in the middle. Yeah. Right? So see if you got a flag so they can see what I'm talking about. When I talk about the 32-degree Scottish right, the double bird head. The double bird head go right in the middle of there. Okay. Got the... By tracking down the family crest, it tell me where to look to know who was usurping who. Okay, all right. This is the cold it. flip sign right here. Let 
Yep. <coughs> Frank of these niggas, man. This is the double right to rule. Motherland and fatherland. 32 degrees. Scott is right. Right? That means you got the blood and the right. You see how he holding the sword? Mm -hmm. <coughs> that's a uh, that's a sworn oath. That's blood over war. Family over war. Mm -hmm. So that's why in Switzerland um, this is used to be on one of their flags a long time ago. Go mm -hmm. look it up. I can't see what you typed this so. one. There go the gold one in the middle with the black bird. You see it? No, go down right there. Yep. That's it. <clears throat> in Lil's, in Lil's children. That's their symbol of conquest. They say they got they, they trying to uh use a Nibiru authority on Earth, and the Galactic Council said that's not possible. Making it hard for me to say this one. Hold on, let me see. Uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be the biggest I can get it right, right now. Hold on, let me try one of these. That's good. They see it, they see the double headed bird. It's on a whole lot of flags throughout town because they've been showing their steps. Okay, we got the ass. Over here, it's a double head eagle uh, cap on the flagpole. <coughs> it's going to be an admiralty flag with two eagles on it. They're going to be back to back where they're going to have two faces. Okay, over here on the side. Mm -hmm. Right here. Yep. You see that gold bar with the eagles, the double head eagle on top of it? The gold ball with the double-headed eagle. It's right at the bottom, right? You barely see it peeking. There you go. Uh, they right put here. them on. The, go back. It's right there at the top now. On the right, next to the picture that you got in the profile. Oh, shit, son. Hey, you, you see, see that? that? You see the dude yelling? Oh, yeah, they fucking with my computer, man. Hold up. God damn. He exposed a double. He's going to try to he's gonna oh, try shit. to fuck with you. Oh, shit. You don't see this shit? Oh, shit. They, like, my shit's sitting down. Oh. Hey, they might be, they might be shutting you down. Man, can, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Man, man, my computer fucking shit down, bro. Hey, if it go off, we're going to start it back over. Damn. Close your, uh, close your page out on the um, internet. That's it, won't open. Move, it won't even let me move my damn mouse, man. Damn, bro. Hey, so... People, people think this should be a coincidence. You see how smooth we was flowing up until now? Yeah, but you see how you ain't see that black screen that just came on my computer? Uh-uh. It didn't show up on this side as a black screen. Damn. 
What the fuck? Now that shit froze. It won't even let me move. Man. Look in the comments. What you see? Hey, uh, yeah, it's, they saying they see it froze too, man. Like restart your computer. If I restart it, no, it's gonna shit the show down. I'm about to start part like another another part. So, uh, hold up, damn. Okay, there you go, right there. Hold up, man. It just fucking blacked my screen out, and then it said like it just did some funky shit. Look, damn. Yeah, they 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 fucking with the shit right now. Yeah, you see, that's when you know when you be when you be hammering a head because a black screen is a CIA uh, signal. That's what I know. I know that's when they, I know that's when I know how they see. Every time I be on my computer when I'm doing something and I'm looking for some shit and I'm on to some, that black mm-hmm. screen pop up and then like my computer just go crazy where I had to just reboot the whole computer. Mm-hmm. But that's the code. Say you pulled the covers off of somebody. Yeah, they want to shut us down, man. No, it's a code. Everything ain't to stop us. Some some stuff is to tell us which direction we going. Oh, except that we on the right track after these niggas. When the black screen came, what color is the screen now? It's, it's, it's gray now. <clears throat> you know what that means on the slab? It's color code talk. Black. You can't get out of this until you know what it means. Black, green, gray. The screen's were black, then it went to green, then it went to, now it's, now it's got this gray. Uh, okay, the black mean you uncovered them. The green mean it's a go. What was the other color before the gray? gray. Like black, green, and gray. That's the one. That's the three colors. And gray mean it's on the slab. That mean it's, it's a penitentiary knot. Like a, like a neutral color? Like a neutral? Penitentiary mean on the slab. Yeah, on the slab. It's, you're only on the slab in two positions. You in the coroner's office, you on the slab, or you in the penitentiary bed, you on the slab. Man, this is not, these knockback receipts in real time. Don't get emotional about it. Read this shit. What they telling us. Okay. All right. What time is it? The numbers matter. 1033. That's a master. Ten toes down on the upright. Okay. Okay. And this is September 4th at 7 4. That's a GD flip. Seven. September don't mean nine. It means seven. The man, uh, fucking the alchemy here. So here he come right here. They shed it down now. So if it, if it close all my programs out, so if it cut it off, we're gonna have to start part two, or you or you or you want to just call it a deal. That's up to you. You can get back on here. I want to come back because uh, I want to come back because uh, I feel like we just I feel like we was like almost at the midpoint of what you build you the ancestors are building you up to 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 tell us something else. You know what I'm and then they, hold on, they, hold on, it might have stopped. Oh no! It's it gonna ha- it gonna make me restart the computer. I, I know I know this port. So <coughs> and look, I'm gonna turn it. It's it gonna be the same uh, the same login as the last one. It's gonna get. It's gonna take about like maybe three or four minutes to reboot. So you can probably go get you something to drink, take you a leak, you know, hit your shit, whatever. You know, talk to your old lady for a second. I'm in for the long haul right now. All right. So yeah. So what we'll do is. Just give me 15 minutes. I'm gonna re- reboot this joint and then uh we're gonna we're gonna get back at it because I think you about to get ready to as soon as we said this 32 degrees shit is when they fucking did the shit. Uh, they, they, it's something about this shit that they don't want out. The connection with the uh the devil and shit. You see that picture that's on the screen? Yeah, the 32 degrees. That's, it's the same bird on the flagpole, but it don't say 32 on it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it's an Admiralty flagpole. Yeah, it ain't gonna fucking let me do that. All right, so let me ask you this before uh, it cut off. Uh, hey, can y'all hear us in the, can y'all hear us in the audience? Make sure you can hear us because this shit is fucking. Hey, can y'all hear us out there, man, in the audience? 
Oh, is it, is it stop cut? Is it cut off? Man, cause they don't tell me. We probably they probably can't even hear us. Hey, yo, but this right here, um, it seemed like okay. So what's this? What's the message? Okay, so it went from black to green to gray, then to this shit to the thirty second degree shit. That's who cover been pulled off of. Oh shit, we got the ass. Hey. Somebody say y'all got their ass in the comments, in the chat, man. Somebody y'all say y'all got their ass. We got their ass, bro. See, I knew it was something. Why this? Why that fucking black screen? The great, the the the, the green screen, the blue screen. It's a you say it's a black screen. Meaning it's it's a secret or it's a cover up. The green meaning it's a gold that we got the ass on that cover up. That gray is like on the slab. We got the ass on the slab. We got the ass in the new caught the ass in the neutral zone slipping. You know what I'm saying? And so now, and, and the niggas that we caught slipping is these double headed 32 niggas, man. And three and two is five. Then they got the triangle around that shit, which is three. Uh, and the triangle represents the pyramid. The pyramid means fire in the middle. Five is fire in the middle. And yeah, I'm looking at mm -hmm. all this shit, man. Yep. Yeah, I'm looking at all these numbers. But let me cut this shit, and we're going to come right back, man. Take you a quick, uh, everybody take a quick commercial break, man. This shit is hot. We the hottest niggas on YouTube right now. If you ain't, mm -hmm. hey, yeah, they need to run tail it. Hey, look, they need to run tail it, man. Tell everybody. Tell your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your cousin. It's all about the brother Rod Haynes and the young elder going live, pulling the curtain off these niggas, man. You need to keep an eye on your pastor, kids. Pulling the curtain right. off these niggas, man. On YouTube right now. Right, so we hey, so we the hottest niggas on in the game right now, man. And they trying to stop us. They had, I, I, I went through a lot of shit. Remember when you, we uh, Raw Hand was first coming on the show? They was the uh, they tried to shut my YouTube completely down. They flagged pa pa uh, tapes that I had a year there, year two, year three years old. We we the only one out here, uh, besides a couple more other brothers that's really telling you the real deal, holy field. Ain't no get no, it don't get no real in the niggas. Coming on the truth is the truth. Uh, we about to get, hey, we about to get uh, go to a quick commercial break. Give us about 15 minutes. We'll be back. I ain't gonna even better stop it. The show, I'm about to just cut my computer off, cut it back on because it's, it's gonna be frozen. It ain't gonna let me move. All right, so let me just do that, Rod. Give me about 15 minutes. I'm gonna, we're gonna come right back, man. All right. All right. Well, 